everyone this is Elaine and welcome back to my channel today I want to show you my design team project for Sweet Pea Curiosities I had seen Marissa she is the shop owner and the creator of these digitals I had seen where she had made a post and I thought I have to do that so mine's probably not quite as fancy as hers However, it was so much fun to do, and I don't know, I, I'm proud of it, and I want to share it with you. So, first of all, the hinges that I used was um, Grogain ribbon. I cut them into about one inch pieces, and um, so that's my hinges. Now, I will say, I still have a little bit to learn as far as getting my hinges straight and lined up. I try, but I don't really mind that they're a little wonky. Um, it is what it is. What I do like is that when you open it, it lays flat. That I do like. So anyhow, let's do that quick flip through. And then at the end, I'm going to show you um, some pages and some pieces that I did not use in here. That's how much you get in her kits. You really, really get your money's worth. Now, everything in here is from the Edgar Allan Poe um, kit, and I will link down below to that digital and to her shop in general, okay? So let's get started. And I'm going to tell you, some of the digitals, you know, she gives you plenty of pockets and everything. Some of the digitals, I just really hate to cover up. And that's why I guess I ended up with so much left. This was a belly band that she gave. There were two of them. And then this was like um, a little file folder. And then a letter. And then um, the raven, the poem. So that's in that belly band. So here again, I didn't want to cover him up. So I just took one of the little digitals and put down there. Now here I did a pocket. And yep, all of the paper here is hers. And again didn't want to cover it up <laughs> so so I, yeah but I can use those digitals in other things there's nothing to say that I have to do it here so there again is um the poem and there he is you fancy me mad I love that one and so here's another pocket and there's all kinds of these little cards and here's a tag and just a um like a little um journaling card and again didn't cover much up. I, I don't know. I hope she don't fire me from the design team. I have to tell you. Um, anyway, here's a little cluster of them. I just hate it covering up the pictures. But here's a pocket, another little card, and then this is like a little um, first day issue little envelope. And you can see the Edgar Allan Poe stamp. Um, and here is a little side pocket with some more digitals in it. And then another one of his quotes. So, and what I like about these journals too is there are some that are tabbed and that some are not. And so I, I do every other. Now here's three digitals that I did do on that page. Added that one. Isn't that a great house? Just a great house. So one of the little pockets and a digital I put up there. This paper was kind of plain so I didn't mind putting all kinds of goodies there in that pocket. I added these three to the bottom of this page. And again, see how nice and flat it lays. I just love it. Now here I did do two pockets because this was just lined paper. Now you may not want to cover up the lined paper. You may actually want to journal in it. And that's okay too. So here's a tag, the little piece of ephemera. And here's some more little goodies. Isn't that a great, great picture too? All on top. Oh yeah. She does great work. I love it. I love playing with them. And I don't know. I've kind of, I don't know, when I say been in the dumps lately. Um, so this really helped me focus on something with her great digitals and everything. And a little hideaway in there. And so here's another belly band with another index card and another note. So there's that. And then here, this is, I made this into a pocket as well. And then here's a pocket. Now he is playing peekaboo back there. I did cover that one up. And then a tag in here. And then that was a digital. 
and then this was the back page and then on the very back cover I did use some of her digitals and then like if he had signed the book so we're just gonna put that right over here now in here is leftover pages and leftover digitals so I wanted you to see everything that you get in the kit some tickets here's a couple more little things a little tombstone I did go ahead and fussy cut these out so you could get the whole idea and um, you know I can always go back and see if I want to put them someplace but I really have no trouble using something like this now that one I didn't cut out um, I have no problem using these someplace else and then here are the extra sheets that I had this is like there were a few pages of letters that I figure I could have probably just folded up and tucked in the belly band um, but anyhow so there's some more pages that I can actually just use in another journal so like I said go and check out sweet pea curiosities that was a fast flip through but you get the idea and she has great digitals I don't think that I've ever had so much fun looking through someone's shop as I have this one um, so give it a, a look like I said I'll put all the information down below and then please remember I do try to put up a video every Tuesday evening at 6 p.m. been a little busy lately missed a couple weeks but I try and then you can find me on Facebook I have a group a page and of course my own private Facebook that you can see what I'm up to um, I have been to a bunch of crafty retreats this year so you can see a little bit about those um, I'm also on Instagram Twitter and Pinterest and I do have a small Etsy shop called Larkin Lane Creations um, hope you check it out I've been on vacation a lot this year but anyhow so I will see you when I do my next design team project I'm thinking that I might kind of go with a holiday excuse me a Halloween theme and um, and, and that one might be a gift for somebody so anyhow I appreciate you very much and I will catch you going down the road bye